Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Painted Cell. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some more DIY home improvement projects that we've been working on in the living room around our wood stove, that whole accent wall and the mantle around it, how we enhanced that. And I'm also going to be sharing with you some things that I purchased for Christmas and some ideas and things that I'm going to be doing in the kitchen as our plans have changed. So as of a few days ago, our plans totally changed for Thanksgiving. We were going to be hosting Thanksgiving dinner here with some family that was going to be coming down from Pennsylvania. And so that has totally been canceled. And so in my mind, when I was going to be cooking dinner and having everyone over, I was still trying to decorate it where we have all of these home projects going on. So we're trying to rush, rush, rush and get those done in the living room and some other areas in the house. So we're trying to get those done quickly. And then we were going to, I was still going to decorate for fall for Thanksgiving because I still haven't really been able to. And so as soon as those plans got canceled, I decided that I was going to just go ahead and pack everything up that was fall related, all my pumpkins, all fall leaves, everything. I've already stripped this room totally down from all fall decorations and I have everything packed up in bins. So like I said, as of a few days ago, I had to just instantly switch gears. I was thinking a completely different way. I was like, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. I had gone out to Hobby Lobby twice and gone shopping. And I was about to go back, this was this past Saturday, and I was about to go back again to get a few things for Thanksgiving dinner because everything is 75% off. And then once we got that news that morning, I was like, okay, I'm going to completely switch gears. So my husband and I are probably going to just do something fun by ourselves for Thanksgiving. And we were thinking of maybe going out of town or just you know, ordering food out or something like that, just making it very simple because we have so many projects going on here at the house. And I have since switched gears toward Christmas. And so I wanted to share with you some of the projects that we have been working on and what we have done so far, and we still have a lot to work on, but let me show you what we have going on in the living room. So I did get all of the texture done in the living room and we added this shiplap it's not real shiplap it's the shiplap paneling that you can get at home depot i think it's around 41 or two dollars a piece so we put that all around and then over top of that on the bottom we added some of these fence boards that i had gotten on clearance i don't know if you remember that from last year and then added a big board at the bottom and then some base cap. And this was all inspired by some, I, I had started filling holes. You guys have tons of prep work and sanding to do to get this ready to paint. But um, there's a little ledge here, trim board, which is just one of these ripped down. So that sits on top. And then these are fence boards that I would gotten on clearance. I lightly sanded them so they're smooth so I can paint them um, and then this is just a piece of base cap sitting on top of a, I think this is a one by eight I can't remember but we wanted it to sort of come up about to the top of where the brick is right there and you can see where they had old trim here that's the old mantle so that's that and for the wood stove we just have to get the little um, seal that goes around it so we can actually use it. Um, we have to go to like a specialty store to get that or I guess order it online. And then that switch is for the, the fan blower for the wood stove. And so I think it really added a lot to this wall for something that was really not that expensive. And then these corbels we had from we had gotten like a whole bunch of different sets of these from a man at a flea market that had purchased like a truckload of stuff from a furniture store or something that had closed and so we held on to all of these we sold some when we moved from our last house that were just ginormous <laughs> they were way too ornate and fancy for our taste but 
um, we kept these and then we just beefed up this top portion here by put, having two boards and then a spacer in between and then capped it with this and I I still have to I started to fill some of the holes but I still have to prep and sand all of this wall and get it ready for paint now I did pick the paint color out you can see down here I just wanted something warm and neutral but it looks so much darker than the swatch and that happens to me all the time when I pick out paint colors it just looks totally different when I get it home and then over there the wall wasn't perfectly like plum and so um, I'm just sort of filling that in I'm gonna sand it down and you won't see any of that when I paint it so that's the wall I and over there some of the paint color you can see and then I have to do um, paint that trim white so that's what we did on the living room wall and like I said I got all the texturing done that took me a couple of days and it really really did a number on my back but it's done and we're waiting on our contractor to tell us if he's going to be able to fit us in his schedule to put beams on the ceiling um, so that's why that's unfinished and I just haven't heard back I know he's busy and with the holidays I'm not sure so he's supposed to let us know and we're gonna do um, beams on the ceiling it may not be until after Christmas I'm not sure like I said I'm still waiting to hear from him and again you know I think it'll all look good when it's all done so if you have any opinions on what color to paint all the trim around the mantle and the mantle itself and then the brick uh, I'm thinking of doing that messy mortar look and um, adding some more texture so it looks like the brick that's in the kitchen or um, I mean that would be the easiest thing for me to do because I already have everything on hand and it would tie in the kitchen or I could just kind of cover it all up and do like a travertine look or a stucco look or like a could do some tile around there but with the holidays approaching and so many things going on I am thinking the messy mortar brick look would be the easiest for me so I'd love to hear your comments below what you think I should do with this whole section of the living room we have a lot of work to do in the living room. I'm thinking maybe three or four days, just depending. A lot of times there's dry times. We have a lot of just sanding and the prep work usually takes the longest and that's the least fun. When you're when you're adding to the wall, like trim, you get instant gratification. And of course, paint is awesome because it's an amazing transformation in just a matter of a few hours. So I'm really excited to get to work on that living room. That's I'm probably going to continue tomorrow. And so we're going to be doing all of that and then I'll be able to decorate the living room. Now, after we had our new roof put on last month, there was a lot of just dust and debris and everything on the front porch. So I went ahead and cleared all of the plants out, all of the annuals. I just emptied all the containers. I brought in the ones that I could try to keep alive over the winter. And so the porch is a clean slate. Well, it's not clean because it's been windy and rainy and so it's kind of a mess. Let me show you what I have going on out on the porch. So here is the porch after all of the pretty greenery from summer has been removed and it's looking pretty sad. I did get an outdoor rug to put here. I have to clean off this whole area and sweep everything. And that tree I actually washed with pine saw and water so it's been out here drying. It was out in storage and just kind of smelled funny, so I wanted to clean that. And up above all of these windows, I have put, if you remember, about two years ago, I shared um, this huge wreath that I got. It came in, in five pieces, and they make these great arches. Now, ignore this, you guys. I have to paint that. I need to caulk it and paint it. That will be a spring project. I'm not worried about it right now but these all go together and they form a huge wreath so i put one over each one of the windows out here on the porch and then i'll be decorating those and i'll do something around the door here and since i took all of our chairs in it's not like we're going to be hanging out here in the winter and as you can see like the road is way out there so nobody sees us <laughs> so I'm not really worried about having furniture on the porch if I find furniture for inside in the 
kitchen area, I'll bring that outdoor furniture back out here and decorate with that. But for now, it's in the kitchen. So I'll be decorating with those and that tree will be going inside. So anyway, this will be an upcoming video. I will decorate the front porch and I just wanted to show you how I was going to use those wreath pieces. If you've been watching my videos for a while, at least for the last year or so, you probably saw where we moved last year and we purchased this home. And so you probably know that we, it's just been a mess. We have had so many unexpected repairs and costs and so forth. And so everything is just, it's been crazy and it's still that way. And that's okay. We're enjoying the process. I'm taking it slowly and just, you, you do things as you can, as you can afford them and as you have the time and energy, right? So I went out into the garage after I packed up a lot of like all of all of the fall stuff and I thought I'm going to kind of just see where the Christmas stuff is. What cuz I have quite a bit. I have a lot of a lot of Christmas decor. It's kind of obscene, but at least I really don't have to buy that much. I did buy a few things which I'll be showing you <laughs> later on in the video, but so I went out into the garage and I started looking around at some of the boxes. And I had moved a couple so that I could get through the center of it because I, we still haven't totally unpacked. I mean, it's, we're still working on rooms and fixing things up as, as you could see in the living room. So I'm just leaving everything in the garage. And so I had moved a couple of things and I started to walk through and then on the box right in front of my face, I saw this. So of course I was like, is that thing dead or alive? Is it poisonous? I have no idea. My husband said it was a rat snake. Um, so I don't know. It wasn't a really big one, but he got himself stuck in the tape. I don't know how he got in there, where he was trying to go. So he was dead. I just found him. I don't know how long he's been there, but he was stinky. So my concern is, are there more snakes that actually made it inside of boxes that had holes. Some of the moving boxes have holes in the side for handles. And so I don't know if any got in there. I have most of my stuff in bins, plastic bins. So they're, they're a much better seal. <laughs> there shouldn't be any access points, but anyway, it's going to be interesting going through all of my Christmas decor. I'm going to have to be really careful not to stick my hand down in something and get a nice surprise of a snake that's hibernating or whatever they do. So anyway, I'm going to have to be very careful when I'm digging through all of my Christmas stuff. If I get any nasty surprises, I'll be sure to let you know. I know most of us have way more than we would ever need. And I know that I did not need to buy anything more for Christmas. And for the most part, I'm not going to. I did get a few things. Um, I, you know, this year I wanted to go a completely different direction with Christmas. But the fact of the matter is I have a tremendous amount of bright red and white Christmas decor. And it's just a shame not to use it. And so I was like, well, how can I incorporate this? I, like I said, I really wanted to go a different route this year. I just had like, I had all of these things pinned and saved and it would require me buying a lot of new items. And I really don't want to do that. I just did all of that for the fall and I really didn't get to decorate that much. And so anyway, I'm going to use what I have, which is plenty, uh, but I did get a few things. And so I wanted to share with you the few things that I picked up just in the past week or so. All right, so a lot of you asked about the kitchen keeping area, and I have been on the hunt for furniture for months, and I've been very unsuccessful. And so yesterday, I was out shopping, and I was, these are our, okay, let me just show you this. This is the rug that used to be in the guest room. It's too big for here. I had to, like, roll it up there, so I'm looking for a rug. But these chairs were all on our front porch and it's so cold and rainy and yucky outside. I was like, why are we going to, I don't have any furniture. Why am I going to leave this outside and try to decorate? Nobody's out there. We live way off the road. And I thought, well, I can bring it in here. It goes great with the doors. And so I had purchased these yesterday. They still have the tags on. So I was just trying them out here. Um, they're not outdoor pillows, and but I was going to put them out there, and then I thought, well, that's silly because 
they weren't, you know, I mean, they were, I got them at Carolina Pottery. So, um, they, they were, this one was $29.99. It's more of like a oblong lumbar type pillow. And then, um, I have another one there, another alderman. And this is a rocking chair. And then I think this one was $39.99. Hold on. Yeah, so this one was 40 bucks. They're super textural, which I love. I love that they look kind of natural and they'll go with anything. So I grabbed those because the outdoor pillows were really just cheesy looking. I don't know. They had like print on them and I don't, I just didn't like them. And then I thought, well, we don't have any furniture. So why don't I try our outdoor furniture in here until I find some. I mean, it's just been really frustrating. So anyway, probably going to do a Christmas tree in the window, right in that little alcove, I think. I may do a little dresser here, something else. I'm not sure. But I only have three chairs, uh, two chairs and two ottomans, and then this rocker, which the kitties are loving. But I need a different rug. It's This one's just way too big for this space. So anyway, I'm playing around with that and trying to get that set up. I definitely didn't need to buy anything for Christmas, but I like to pick up a little bit of something each year. And in the kitchen this year, I think I'm going to do the tra like the traditional red and white cutesy Santa, just that really fun, bright Christmas look with the candies and peppermint and all that kind of stuff. So I have a ton of that. I'd love to switch gears and do different colors every year, but I have way too much bright red and white so that's what I'm going to use this year in the kitchen and so I got these pillows it was a set of them this gingham print for $24.99 at Tuesday morning they have this really cute little ruffle and I love the fabric so adorable I don't know what that is I guess that's a little flaw in the fabric but anyway I think they look really vintage and cute and I think they'll go with all of the things that I already have for Christmas that are red and white and to go with those, I found some other stuff yesterday while I was out at Carolina Pottery where I got these pillows. Let me show you those things. All right, so one of the next things I purchased was this ribbon. It is velvet with a taffeta back. I can't even see how many yards that is. Five yards? Well, it's not very much yardage. I didn't even realize that. I should have gotten more, but it was $12.99 and it's two and a half inches wide, red velvet ribbon. And I already have red velvet ribbon, but this was really bright. And so I wasn't sure what color red I had on hand. So I went ahead and got a roll of this just, just in case. So I got that. So the next thing I got was this lattice type ribbon. It's a natural jute fiber with this little white fuzzy stuff on the ends, the trim. I just thought that was really cute. And I thought it would tie in the natural elements that I'm going to be using for Christmas. So I picked that up and uh, this was two and a half inches wide, 10 yards for $5.99. So I got that. Now I absolutely love adding a tartan print. I love it for fall and I especially love it at Christmas time. So I found these placemats. I only picked up three. They were $4.99 a piece. I probably should have gotten more, but it's as far as I know, it's just going to be us and our son for Christmas dinner. If we happen to have more people over, I will get some more placemats or I may even just use these under different arrangements because they're so pretty. So I just, I love that print because a lot of times there'll be different colors in the tartan print that maybe sometimes they'll have blue in there, which I do like, but I love this one because it has the traditional colors and it, it still goes really well with the gingham. So I got three of those and I also got one of the kitchen towels that matches to pull that same print over on the other side of the kitchen. Now this little guy was $8.99. It's like a quilted placemat, but it's round and scalloped on the edges. I love all the little birds and 
I didn't want to buy a lot of these because like I said, they were $8.99, which isn't really that bad, but I wouldn't want to have food splattered on here. So I just got one and I will use it as an accent under a display or a little glass cloche or something like that. And I just really loved all the little birds on there. I will be decorating with some red cardinals. And while I was at the thrift store the other day, I found these little red birds. There's 15 of them for $2. They kind of look like they've been through the ringer a little bit, but that's okay. Haven't we all? <laughs> anyway, I, I just thought they were really cute and I thought they kind of went with that placemat and they would look good on a tree or in um, some of my displays around the house. And actually, I got some little bird cages to either use in the tree or um, somewhere else in my displays. And I'll show those to you. I got them last week at Hobby Lobby for half off. So let me grab those and show you. Okay, here are those little bird cages I was talking about. I found at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're really cute. They're, they're a good size if you want to add them to your Christmas tree. I have a lot of different size bird cages and... This one was big enough where you could actually open the door and put some greenery in there, maybe a couple little snowy pieces and maybe one of those little red birds or I have some other birds that have snow on them that are kind of icy looking. So they were big enough to use and they actually had the door, like I said, so that's why I got this size and they were half off of $15.99, so about $8. Not bad. I don't think they're half off this week I think it would be next week if if they rotate the sale that way so anyway I got two of those thought they were adorable and then I also got a couple of these to add some natural elements around in my decor obviously I have around 15 acres of pretty much all pine trees so I have plenty of pine cones to use but I went ahead and picked up some of these I don't think they were on sale um, $5.99. No, I don't think these were on sale last week or if they ever even go on sale. But I got two of this size and one of the larger sizes. So I guess you can kind of see I'm kind of going for just a natural, comfy, cozy, traditional type Christmas. That's the plan anyway, at least in the kitchen. I don't know what's going to go on in the living room, but it'll probably be a similar vibe. For the past several weeks, I have been looking for furniture and I have not found anything. I did buy a couple of things just to try to get something that I thought would work. And I really, I ended up donating that couch. So I wasted all of that money, which it's fine. It went to charity, but I can't keep spending money on things that I don't really love that don't really work. We just really want stuff that's really, really comfortable and that we love and that's neutral because every season I change everything out. I'm not one of those people that leaves everything as it is and changes out a couple little tiny things. I change like the curtains, the artwork, the pillows, the greenery, the everything. I just, I like changing everything around. And so I really need something that's very neutral so that it will go with anything and everything. So when we thought we were going to be hosting Thanksgiving dinner, I put the dining room table back in the kitchen area that we wanted to use as a keeping area. And then as soon as I found out just a few days ago that we were not going to be hosting Thanksgiving dinner, I went ahead and moved the, the big round. It's a, it's a pedestal table. It has a big round glass top. We moved that out into the garage to get it out of the way and I wanted to create a little seating area off the kitchen because we have that little pub table that I purchased off of Marketplace. And so we're trying to just do the house how we live. I mean, it's if we get company, you know, whatever, we'll figure it out then and bring in whatever we need to to serve a meal. But in general, it's just me and my husband. And then our son will be coming home for Christmas. And so there'll only be three of us as far as I know. And if we have guests, I have other little tables and chairs. So anyway, we moved that table out of the kitchen and I, I don't have any chairs. I've been looking and looking and I ordered those ones off Walmart, the little cute recliners that everybody gave rave reviews about. I was not impressed with them. I think that they are about in line with the amount of money that they cost. They're about $300 a piece. And I just, 
I knew that they weren't going to last very long just the way they were constructed and they had a max weight limit of 225 pounds a max weight limit so if you if everyone in your family is really tiny and nobody comes over that weighs over much over 200 pounds they might be fine but I just I would rather invest in decent furniture that's really heavy and high quality than to get those so anyway I sent those back and so they were going to go in their little seating area off the kitchen and I've been looking ever since and so for now you know you just have to use what you have and so we were at Carolina Pottery and we got all of those pillows and I was just like I don't want to put these really nice pillows out on the porch it's going to be just all wet and sticky and icky and little critters we live out in the woods the little critters are always all over the porch and everything and so I thought well I don't have chairs and I don't I have chairs out on the on the porch that we purchased this past summer so I thought well why not use the outdoor wicker chairs and bring them in and so I like the indoor outdoor look that kind of garden I love when there's lights outside on people's back patios and on their porches and they have all the furniture sitting around and so I just thought it will be fine I'll do like an indoor outdoor kind of theme and I'll just use these chairs until I find something else. And so I brought those in and then we have a vintage Queen Anne sort of faded blue sofa we've had for many years. I think I got that at Habitat for Humanity uh, for maybe $100, $125 and I love it. I love the faded blue color. And my inspiration really was the, the little um, bird placemat that I got at Carolina Pottery. And it's really nice to find something that you like and just kind of pull your decor inspiration from there. And so this year I'm going very casual, a little bit woodsy, outdoor, gardeny type feel, just very rustic. And I'm mixing that with all of the red and white. I think Christmas is just one of those times where you can use whatever you have and just have fun with it. It doesn't have to be something out of a magazine it doesn't have to be pinterest worthy it doesn't have to hold up to other youtubers just don't even worry about that there's a lot of pressure i think if we're having guests coming over to have everything just right just so and perfect but it, it, when you feel that pressure it kind of takes the fun out of it and i just really enjoy decorating for christmas and i i will decorate and change things around all the way up until pretty much Christmas Eve. And so I'm going to share with you what I've done so far. I brought in a couple of things. I kind of have the arrangement kind of how I think is okay for now. Now if I find other furniture, I may swap things out, but let me show you what I've started with and some of the things that I've pulled out of the garage without any snakes in it <laughs> that I can start decorating for Christmas. So let me show you what I've gotten done so far in the little keeping sitting area in the kitchen. All right, well, I wanted to share with you what I've gotten so far, kind of just trying to get myself started here. I have that Merry Christmas sign I got a few years ago at Hobby Lobby, and I painted it black with some highlights. I, I like it there, but I'm definitely going to add maybe a mirror behind it or move it and maybe do a mirror in some sconces or something. It looks a little lonely there on the wall. And, and it kind of needs to stand out a little more though, but I love that sign. Those are great and great buy at Hobby Lobby. And this is that faded blue vintage sofa. Uh, you can see how it is faded because the little arm covers are more of the original color, but I love that faded blue. And I just added those brown pillows because I'm going to be adding like rustic elements. I have this jute rug down here i may get a different one i'm not sure but it's fine for now the cats love it they love this little area as you can see so i brought in this rocker and brought in one of the chairs with ottoman i have another one of those but it kind of it didn't really fit there was just not enough space so it's right over there. I have stuff piled on it. I'm trying to still figure this little arrangement out. And I got, I had all of these pillows except these I got at Carolina Pottery. And that one at Carolina Pottery. And those are from Tuesday morning. The ones from Tuesday morning. And again, I had the red one. And I've had that for years. And I have a candy cane one that's similar. 
and I just started pulling out some things um, that are new and then in these two bins are all red and white stuff and I had that little Christmas tree sign I thought that was really cute so this is all red and white stuff I have some snowball ornaments and these little rustic picks with a little bit of snow on them I think they were from Hobby Lobby I definitely want to spruce up this tree it's a little pencil tree you can see I already put one of the little peppermint ornaments in there to see if I like that but I just I have so much red and white I mean this is just one bin I have, I have several that are red and white and I have these snowflake ornaments I don't know if I'm gonna do a snowy look in here or save that for the living room but I just I have a lot of that kind of stuff so it's kind of like rustic snowy red and white and then this pretty sweater ribbon I used in a tree last year so that will go with all this red and white theme and here's another one lots of ornaments like I said, I have just a ton. It's all out in the garage, and it's it's really ridiculous. I have too much stuff. and definitely don't need to go buy anything else. So some of these are brighter red than others. It looks like they're getting a little scratched up in here. Um, I think these are actually a darker red than what I need. So my bright red ones are out in the garage, actually. This one's a little bit brighter red. It's really pretty. So again, I may, and I do have a lot of red and white ones, but I may completely change my mind. I'm not sure. I just, it gets overwhelming and I don't have any furniture. And <laughs> I just thought, you know what? I'm just going to use what I have and try to make this cozy. Obviously the cats like it. And so anyway, I think it'll be fine. Like I said, it's just us. We may have some company for Christmas, uh, and our son, I mean, he, as long as it's cozy and Christmassy for him, he'll be, he'll be fine. He's mainly worried about the food. What, what food is mom making? Oh, I, I do love these pillows. They're so cute. And these would be cute also during the summer for like a picnic type theme. You could do 4th of July. You could use them really a lot of different times throughout the year. So I think those are really adorable. So anyway, this is what I'm working with. Oh, let me show you some other things. Now I got these, they're all wrinkly because I washed them, but I got these really cute little curtains at Walmart. They're Pioneer Woman and I just thought they were adorable. I tried to tea stain them because as bright as they look now, they were like neon bright. And so I mixed up the coffee. I did the whole coffee stain thing. And I guess the coffee, it, they did actually tinge them a little bit. I mean, it darkened them just a little bit because they were so bright, but they're still way too bright. It's it's not an orange red, but it is a super, it's super bright. You can see it's just like a, I don't even know how to explain it. Anyway, it's way too bright. So I, I'm either going to use those somewhere else or give them to somebody or try to tea or dye them a little bit darker or something like that. I have to try to do something because they're just too bright. And so I, this I already had, it's a big tablecloth. I might cut this and use it for curtains over the sink. Um, I did have this tablecloth, which I got a lot of this stuff on clearance either last year. No, it was the year before and never used it. So it was still in the bins. It's kind of fun digging through your stuff and seeing what you have. But it's really pretty. It has some gold on it. And I thought, well, those might be cute curtains here in the kitchen. Almost hate to cut it. And then just some decorative cinnamon sticks. These are the only decorative ones, not the food grade. And then I'm always, I love doing birds. I have some snowy birds and so forth. So I got out another little um, bird cage there. And then this, of course, was the inspiration, and it has like that blue-gray on it and the birds, and so I just think that's really cute. So I'm going to be carrying this bright red, and this is kind of a creamy white, and 
green and then the the blue gray here in the kitchen <clears throat> it would be nice if i could find a couple more christmas little decorations that have that blue gray color in them like the sofa that i can pull to the other side of the of the kitchen that would be nice and these are those bird cages that i got and there's the tartan plaid and um, I had these from a year or so ago. Really cute. It's just like a little napkin or maybe it's considered a hand towel. But it's another red and white pattern. I like mixing lots of different red and white patterns. I think that always looks really adorable for Christmas. I mean, all bets are off at Christmas. You know, you can do whatever you want. And it's all fine. And then here's another red and white towel and another one with some little pom-poms on the end. And this is a tablecloth, but it's kind of, kind of has a weird white color. I may use this as like a shower curtain or something, hang it up. I'm not sure. It's just not really working with this other stuff. And some other placemats. And then this is a vintage false graph teapot. It doesn't have the lid. It was a gift to me by my sister, Charlotte. To, she gave one to each of the sisters in the family, and it had some poinsettias in it. And so I will use this in the kitchen and put some greenery in it. I love that, and that's something that I'll always treasure. And then these are those little kind of peppermint beaded ornaments. I guess they're kind of beaded, glittery, whatever. I used these in our last house. I had like a little dessert bar and I use them up in the greenery and stuff. I just, I really like these. They look really cute. And then I did pull out this black basket. I had thrifted for $4. It is kind of chippy. I might hit it with a fresh coat of paint, but um, otherwise I kind of like it. I like things chippy. And then I have this cute little apron here with polka dots. I don't know if I'll keep this one out. I have a couple of other ones, um, but that's really cute. It has a ruffle and then I have this little Merry Christmas chef's hat. I kind of incorporate that sometimes when I decorate. So it's just this theme this year is just going to be a little bit more cutesy. I'm not really going to stress about it. I'm not trying to be some amazing designer kitchen this year. I'm just <laughs> really just using what I have and making it fun and festive. And so we're just going to go with that this year. I also pulled out this little sign I made. This is just some wrapping paper and one of those little Merry Christmas banners. You can get a Hobby Lobby for next to nothing and I put it in a frame. And then these are the little candlesticks that I DIY'd. I have a video on these. They were, I think they were gold. I can't remember, but I did a little DIY tutorial and did kind of a faded Christmas messy look on those and I, I think they turned out really cute so i had that one and then a the little bit smaller one well that's all i have for you today i really hope you enjoyed this video i would love to hear your comments on the living room wall and the paint color and maybe what you think i should paint the paneling and the fireplace mantle or that whole wall in general and also maybe what your thoughts are on what i should do with the brick if i should do the messy mortar to match the kitchen brick wall or something totally different. So I'll be working on that all this week, so make sure you comment below. Make sure if you did enjoy this video to give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to do so. And if you do subscribe, make sure you click on the notification bell and select the option all so you won't miss the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you take care of yourselves. You're enjoying this season and I hope you're enjoying decorating whatever you're doing right now. If you're still in the fall mode or if you're getting geared up or full on into Christmas, I hope you're enjoying the whole decorating process and I hope you'll join me for my next video. So take care of yourselves. Bye for now.